Good afternoon. It's Brent Words, my partner Danny Scott behind the camera. We're at a ballpark, getting ready to do some grilling and chilling. This is our tailgating unit that we take. You can see the truck and the trailer behind me. Today what we're going to do is we're going to feed people as they leave this ballpark. A little bit of yangling sauce. Get them feel for how good yangling is. Today what I want to do is I want to give you all a chance to kind of see what we do and how easy it is. The key to the, the key to this kind of cooking, particularly tailgating, that it's easy and it's really, really good. So today we're going to do what I call hot shaken thighs. It sounds kind of difficult, it's not. All you need is a Ziploc bag, some fresh thighs. You can see these are right out of the grocery store. I brought with me some of the yingling hot sauce, so they're going to have a little bit of a bite to them today. It certainly goes great. Some yingling beer, we're always going to cook with some sort of yingling beer no matter what we do. I'm going to throw in some garlic and some shallot and maybe some lime. That's just really to add a little more flavor. You certainly don't have to. You could have easily these two products and chicken and, and end up with a wonderful thing. So all we do to get started is we open up our chicken thighs. This would be also good for chicken drums because then you'd have a shaken drum. So that would also be really well. So you just pull your thighs out. Take a quick look. You can see they always leave one attached here. All I'm asking you to do is maybe just... Cut that and spread it out. That's it. We'll do that kind of quickly on all of them. Just one cut, spread it out. Easy as chicken thighs. Every time it's just that one side. One cut, spread it out. All we're going to do is make that to be a cooking, even cooking service. So when we put it on the grill, this thigh is going to cook it evenly all the way across. If you don't cut this, you're going to end up with medium rare chicken thigh here and well done chicken thigh here, and that's certainly not what we're after. So once we have the thighs cut, what we're going to do then is take our, our Ziploc bag, open it up. I always open it up and roll it down. That way you roll it back up, you got a dry spot. Then we'll just throw these guys in here. So we get all the thighs in the bag. And then go ahead and take some of the yingling hot sauce. It's a hot wing sauce. We're just going to put, a, a, I would say, about six ounces in there. And there we're going to open up the fresh angling lager, which uh, does it for me every time. We're going to put about four ounces of angling lager in here. Pour it right on top. Because I'm the chef, I'm going to take a little bit of shallot, throw that in there. Just a little bit of garlic, throw that in there. I have a half of one lime, just throw that in there. What you have to get, and you'll be able to get it very shortly, is the Yingling Smoked Salt. This is a part of a spice line. We've got four spices that come out. This is the all-purpose spice, so it's good for anything. You can see here that the spice is a jerk, a brown sugar, a regular barbecue, and then this smoked salt. So we're just going to go ahead and pour a good amount of the smoked salt in there. Then kind of the fun part, you just unroll your bag. Push some of the air out and take it. And all you do is shake your hot thighs. I would shake these. I'd probably I could do most of this for the rest of this. I have these in bags and the coolers in the trailer here. So all you do is do this on your on, in the morning. They can sit under marinade. I think I would have them at least an hour, up to three hours under marinade. So we just take them and let them marinate. When you get to whatever parking lot you're going to end up in, and you just open them up, pop the grill open, nice pair of tongs. See it on they go. We're going to cook those approximately five minutes on each side. What I like to do is get them going, cool that lid down. We'll wait three or four minutes, we'll flip those. Wait another three or four minutes, they'll be ready to go. Total of about four to five minutes on each side. We're going to go ahead and take a break. As soon as these are done, we're going to bring you back in to show you what it looks like when they're finished. See you in a minute. Here we are, we're right back. Four or five minutes later, you can see that two that we put on are right here ready to go. Just gonna bring them on the cutting board here quick. Almost everything I cook, I kind of look to cook in appetizer sized portions. So I would just take these drums here. Nice, nice chicken thigh. You can see how they're all cooked evenly now. Cut them in strips, that way most of my parties, everyone just kind of likes to hang out and nibble as they go as opposed to sitting down and having a big meal. So nice strips. 
we'll just take those, line them up on a little platter. And if you were at my house, I'd, I'd be doing this all night. Now, I'd be, I'd be consuming having a beer every now and then just because it's hot by the grill. And you need to stay hydrated or you could get in trouble that way. But we'll just go ahead and put a little more on there. Hit it with a little of our seasoning salt. And then you could have somebody walk around and, or they could pass it around or you could put it in the middle of the table. I'm sure there's people sitting around enjoying a, a yingling and enjoying these wonderful, these are called shaken yingling hot wing thighs. We're going to serve a bunch of them here in a minute. Thanks for, thanks for joining us.